And as the third mainland bridge repair continues, Nigerians have expressed discomfort over attendant traffic brought about by the partial closure. This time, the bridge will be shot from Saturday to Monday. Plus TV Africa correspondent Adebanke Odunui has the details in this report. Lagos, a state that never sleeps, and as a result, traffic abounds. Over the past few months, the traffic has increased due to the construction works being done in the state, one of which is the repairs on the Third Mainland Bridge. The announcement of the partial closure of this bridge was greeted with condemnation, even when everyone agrees it is expedient. But now, as the Christmas season is upon us, the reaction is still negative three months after. I feel that it's good that they are working on the bridge. It's very good, but I feel that they should be quicker because I think they are affecting people's lives in, because the bridge has been partially closed for quite a while now. Life has not been the same since they closed the bridge. I normally trek to my business area. Immediately, they close. They, div they started diverting the bridge to the Oyimbo side. The complete closure of the bridge for three days further agitates the users of the bridge. It's going to be serious because like people who like to come to the beach during the holiday period, they will, they will not find it easy. And it, it will be tough because if they are, everybody will be moving on Ikorodu Road. So and it, it's going to be tough. To address the fears and complaints of the populace, the Federal Road Safety Corps gives some tips. The worst that could happen to, F, uh, to Lagos or by extension Nigeria is for Todd Milambri to collapse. I cannot imagine what will happen to Lagosians moving from Highland to Mainland or from Mainland to Highland. So if the essence of this effort is to consolidate or fortify the bridge, is a worthwhile sacrifice. While stating how far the construction works have gone, he also explained the reason for the complete shutting down of the bridge. We are through with the first stage. That's a repair of the outward Lagos. That was, the, that was where we started in June, which was expected to take about three months. I think because of activities here and there, it was a little bit off that three months, but it's concluded. And we have moved to inward Lagos Island now of the bridge. The bridge is going to be shut down by 12 midnight on the 25th from Adekunle to Adeniji to enable them to do some casting of the joints. And uh, the reason why the two sides has to be shut down is because that thing does not give room for vibration. Motorists and commuters are encouraged to endure for a little longer, explaining that their safety is very important. For Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Udumi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.